Hi everyone, welcome back to the CAD CAM course YouTube channel. Today in this free CAD beginners video, we'll be creating this object using the part design workbench. I'll be using this reference isometric sketch here to grab my dimensions from for the model. If you've followed my previous videos, you know we always start by breaking down complex solids into simple, easy steps. For this tutorial, I've split the process into seven steps. I'll walk you through each one in the sketch, and you can follow along with this PDF guide. I'll drop a link below if you'd like to download it. Now, in parametric modeling like this, there are multiple ways to approach the same model, but today we'll stick to the method that avoids common free CAD quirks. All right, let's jump in. So while making this cylindrical portion, for time being, ignore the uh, hole in the middle and uh, create only the cylinder. First, go to the Part Design Workbench and click Create Sketch. From these three primary planes, select the uh, right plane, that is YZ plane. Now grab the Circle tool, click the origin for the center, drag out the circle, and uh, don't worry about size yet. Now let's constrain it. Grab the Dimension tool, click the circle, and set the diameter to uh, 50 millimeters. OK, now we'll add this rectangle above it. Use the rectangle tool and draw a rough shape on top of the circle. Now uh, grab the dimension tool and add this dimension from center of the circle to the top of the rectangle as uh, 35 millimeters. We need this rectangle centered, so uh, select these two endpoints in the vertical axis, then apply the uh, symmetrical constraint. And now set the rectangle's width to 20 millimeters. Now select the uh, Trim Edge tool and clean up this sketch to trim the extra lines. And the sketch is now turned green, means it is fully constrained. Close the sketch, exiting to again Part Design Workbench. Step one is completed. Now for step number two, while this sketch is selected, uh, select the Pad tool. And from this drawing, if you see this, uh, the extrusion length is uh, 20 plus 20. Plus 20. That is 60 millimeters. So here in the pad parameters, check this box, symmetric to plane, and uh, enter the extrusion length as 60 millimeters. The sketch is now extruded into cylinder. So uh, step number two is also completed. OK, so now we're moving to step three, creating this handle-like part. Uh, this handle needs to attach exactly at the middle of the cylinder we just made. That means our sketching plane has to be right in the center of the cylinder. So let's go back to the Create Sketch tool and select the YZ plane again, uh, same as before. Now uh, grab the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle starting from the cylinder's center out to the side. Uh, just rough it out for now, we'll fix the dimensions in a second. You might have noticed that the rectangle isn't visible here. Why? Because the sketch plane is inside the cylinder. FreeCAD has a fix for this. Let's use this View Section tool. It's like a slicing knife for 3D objects. Click that, and now you can see your sketch through the slice cylinder. Next, let's make this handle symmetric. Uh, select these two endpoints in the vertical axis, hold Control to multi-select, then apply the uh, symmetrical constraint. This locks the rectangle evenly around the Y axis. Now, uh, grab the Circle tool and snap the center to this intersection point. Drag the circle out. Uh, make sure it's touching the rectangle's edge. Now use this uh, Trim Edge tool to clean up the overlapping lines. Just click the bits you don't need, and we're left with a smooth curve. All right, now let's lock down the position of this circle. From the sketch, uh, you can see the center of this arc needs to be at a distance of uh, 20 plus 40 plus 13 plus uh, radius of the cylinder, that is 25 millimeters from the origin. Now add this dimension, uh, grab the dimension tool and add this length as uh, expression that is 25 radius of cylinder plus 13 plus 40 plus 20 millimeters. FreeCAD will automatically calculate to uh, 98 millimeters. Next up, these two points here, they need to be uh, coincident. So hold control, select both points and apply the uh, coincident constraint. Now, now, these three points should be in a uh, straight line. So again, hold control, select these three points, and select the vertical constraint tool. 
Now add the diameter of this arc. The diameter needs to be 30 millimeters, which means the radius is half uh, 15 millimeters. So select the dimension tool and add uh, radius as 15 millimeters. All right, now we will add these two uh, semicircles on the sides. Grab the circle tool again and uh, place the centers right on the edges here. Uh, just click and drag to rough them out. Now select both circles and uh, apply the equal constraint. This ensures they're identical twins of same size. Now hold control and select these two circle uh, centers and select this axis and apply the uh, symmetrical constraint to make them uh, symmetrical around axis. We've got some uh, extra lines from the circles. Now grab the trim edge tool and uh, clean up these circles by trimming edges. But now these two lines lost their constraints. Select these lines and uh, make them horizontal. All right, so these three points here, uh, they should be horizontal. Let's fix that. Go ahead and select uh, all three points. Hold Control to multi-select. Then uh, select the horizontal constraint tool from the uh, toolbar. Now they're locked in a straight line. And uh, same thing applies to this circle. Also, we need these three points uh, aligned horizontally too. Select them, apply the horizontal constraint again, and done. Next up, let's define the radius of these circles. Now grab the dimension tool and add radius to one of these circles as 10 millimeters. Uh, the position isn't fixed yet. If we drag it, it still moves around. To lock it down, we'll use the dimension tool. Select the center point of the circle and the origin point of the sketch. Let's key in uh, 13 millimeters. Mm, wait, nope, that's not quite right. Forgot to account for the cylinder's radius. Since we're designing to the outer edge, it should actually be 13 plus 25, which gives us 38 millimeters. There, now the sketch turns green. Everything's fully constrained. Now leave the sketch. Uh, back in the part design workbench, select the pad tool and uh, tick symmetric to plane to extrude your sketch uh, evenly in both directions. And uh, set the length to 20 millimeters and hit OK. And there we go. All the additive features where we add material are done. Now let's add subtractive features to remove material. Next step is to add hole to this cylinder. Select this face as plane, select create sketch tool, grab circle tool, set center as uh, origin and drag a circle. Grab dimension tool and uh, set diameter as 30 millimeters. Now leave the sketch and select the pocket tool. Change the pocket parameter type as uh, through all and click okay. Uh, all right, in this next step, uh, we'll add this slot to this uh, handle. Start by selecting this face here, then go ahead and click the Create Sketch tool. Now grab the uh, slot tool from the toolbar. We want this slot centered on this axis. So uh, click the first point on this axis to set the first center, then drag the slot uh, along the axis and click again to set the second center. But wait, we need the center of this arc to match the uh, larger one here. Problem is we can't directly select it. So uh, let's use the uh, external geometry tool, click on the edge of the larger arc, and FreeCAD will uh, project arc and its center point into our sketch. Now hold Control, select both center points, the one from the slot and the projected one. Then uh, apply the coincident constraint to lock them together. Now, uh, from our reference sketch, the distance between these centers of slot should be uh, 20 millimeters. So uh, grab the dimension tool, click both points, and key in 20 millimeters. Next, uh, let's define the width of the slot. The diameter of the arc is 15 millimeters, so uh, the radius will be 15 divided by 2, which is 7.5 millimeters. Use the dimension tool, click the slots arc, and enter 7.5 millimeters. Oh, okay, the sketch turns green and we're fully constrained. Close the sketch, head back to the part design workbench, and select the pocket tool. Change the type dropdown in pocket parameters to uh, through all, 
This cuts the slot completely uh, through the part and click OK. All right, time to add these three holes to the top of our model. To start by selecting this face, the flat surface where the holes will go. Click Create Sketch, grab the Circle tool, and uh, let's draw three rough circles along this central axis. Now select all three circles, hold Control, then uh, apply the equal constraint from the toolbar. This ensures they're identical in size. Next, uh, we need to position them. The distance from this center to uh, this edge should be 15 millimeters. We can't select the edge directly. No problem. First, right click to exit the current tool. Grab the external geometry tool and uh, click the edge to project it into our sketch. Use the dimension tool to set the distance between the circle's center and the uh, projected edge to 15 mil. Repeat this for the distance between the two outer circles, also 15 millimeters. Since we applied the uh, equal constraint earlier, we only need to define the diameter for one circle. Now just click on any one of these circles, I'll select this one here, and set its diameter to, let's make it 10 millimeters. And because we applied that equal constraint earlier, you'll see all three circles automatically update to match this size. Close the sketch, head back to the part design workbench, and select the pocket tool. Change the length to 35 millimeters. This ensures the holes cut deep enough. And there we go. The 3D model is complete. It matches the isometric drawing perfectly. Thanks for following along. If you found this helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more tutorials. See you in the next video.